more squinty videos. I I get lots of people that send me messages, post comments, whatever, and that's that's awesome. And what I fucking hate more than anything is when someone says they, they they'll tag me in a post or they'll send me some message about they hit a PR, you know, I may or may not have helped them or they're just hoping that I use it to repost it or whatever. What their motive is is completely irrelevant. The point is, they say, you know, hey, I hit, uh, I, I deadlifted 400 pounds. I know I'm not strong at all compared to what you've done and all these people, blah, blah, blah. Stop that fucking shit. I remember I deadlifted 400 pounds once and I was very happy about it. I called up uh, my girlfriend at the time at night and told her and she responded who cares because and that's how she should have and that's why it lasted about that long <laughs> but the point is you should be proud of it and if you're surrounding yourself by people that are uh, not even it, whether they care or not if they're not happy that you are happy that you accomplished something, then they're fucking, they're the kind of people you need to not deal with. So there's a, there's a life lesson, which I should have learned earlier. But, um, they also probably shouldn't care more than you, because then they're probably a groupie. There's another life lesson. Um, but don't diminish your own accomplishments. Be proud every step of the way. Now, don't tag 90 people that lift weights that you know on Facebook and be annoying as hell and act like you're the second coming of freaking Bill Kazmaier and you need a sponsorship or something, but be proud that you are now better this week, this day, than you were previously. You have worked up to that accomplishment. Don't, don't be, you know, say, oh, well, I did this, now, um, you know, I'm great and I should get all these things and, uh, which no one even gets anyways, and, you know, I, I'm not even going to try anymore, like, have that in your mind, like, I still need to get this much better if I want to get where I need to go, but enjoy the journey the whole way along it, just the whole way, and do not undersell your yourself and your accomplishments, like, you know, like, I've deadlifted you know, this much in the past, and then I post a video again, like, the, I just had lifted 455 for two, and it's the most I've done in, you know, two years, really, without pain. I was happy with that. Was I as happy with it, and, like, felt like as much of a badass as when I did lift at 600? No, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, you know, like, three years ago, I still did this. Like, that's a loser's mentality, and if you keep having a loser's mentality, you're always gonna be not as good as someone else. Because guess what? You're always not going to be as good as someone else. So you can't if, if you can't enjoy that you had some accomplishment, you went into the gym, and you lifted the weight, you fucked, were happy, that's a great feeling every step of the way. doesn't matter if it's 315, 405, 800, 1,000. That's a great fucking feeling. So enjoy that feeling, and don't undersell it to other people whether they're more advanced or stronger than you. And if they're the kind of person if, if they're the kind of person that says, Oh, so fucking what? That's you know, my my girlfriend can do that or something, then fuck them too. If so you just appreciate your own accomplishments every step of the way and don't undersell them. Cause it pisses me off. Unless you just want to piss me off, then do that.